turn this setting off now. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. It's one of your faves, Sin. So today I'm going to share a little secret that I discovered about YouTube Studio that could potentially boost your watch time hours. Yes, you heard that right. I turned off a specific setting and my watch time hours went up. So stick around as I dive into the details. All right, let's jump right into it. Now, if you're familiar with YouTube Studio, you know there are a ton of settings that you can tweak. Some are obvious, while others can be a bit more hidden. Now, the setting I turned off is related to the autoplay feature for your video. Okay, Sin, so what is autoplay? Autoplay allows your videos to play automatically after one finishes. While this might sound convenient, it can actually lead to a decrease in viewers' engagement on your channel. Now, you might be wondering, Sin, how does turning off autoplay boost watch time? Let's break it down. First, when autoplay is enabled, viewers might not be as engaged with your content. They could easily skip to the next video without really absorbing what they just watched. This can lead to a drop in average viewer duration, which is the key metric for YouTube's algorithm. So by turning it off, I noticed that viewers were more likely to stay on my videos longer and engaging with it and even commenting. This all contributes to a higher watch time, a crucial factor for growing your channel. So this is how you turn off autoplay in YouTube Studio. Log into your YouTube account and navigate to YouTube studio then click on the content tab on the left sidebar to view all of your uploaded videos find the video you want to edit and click on it to open the details page then scroll down to find the advanced section or click on show more to access advanced settings look for the autoplay option the wording may vary and toggle it off this step ensures that viewers won't automatically be led to another video after yours don't forget to click save to apply your your new changes in your settings and that's it simple right now let's talk about the results I saw after making this change before turning off autoplay my average watch time was about 50 minutes per week after making the switch I saw a jump to over 100 minutes in just one week that's a huge difference this experience taught me the importance of experimenting with different settings and understanding how they can impact viewers behavior now before we wrap this up here are a few extra tips to help boost your watch time number one create compelling thumbnails and titles make sure your thumbnails and titles grab attention this will make viewers want to click and watch your videos step two engage with your audience ask questions encourage comments and create a community. Engage viewers are more likely to watch longer. Three, use playlists. Organize your videos into playlists. This encourages viewers to watch multiple videos in a row. Number four, analyze your analytics. Keep an eye on your analytics to see what type of content performs best. Adjust your strategies accordingly and everything will work out for you. So as you can see, I turned this feature on in October. You see how September looks? October skyrocketed. And that's because I turned it off. Will it always make a difference? I don't know. Now I'm trying it again for November. I'm going to see if really turning it off made a difference. But I can tell you from September to October, it made a difference. Now let's see how November goes. If November doesn't go like October, then I might toggle it back on. But you have to experiment to see what works for you. Turn this setting off, turn this setting on, use these hashtags, use this thumbnail, this title. You have to play around and see what works for you. Everything doesn't work the same for everyone. So it's very, very important that you find what strategies work for you. So if you guys are willing to try it out, try it out and let me know down below. Basically turning this setting off, basically all it's doing is stopping your video from automatically playing to the next video. Because let's just say someone watch your video and they're only planning on watching that one video. If your next one automatically plays, they're gonna click off, which will make your watch time decrease and also your retention rate. It really will hurt your retention rate because it's signaling to YouTube and the algorithm, this video isn't any good because every time it gets automatically played, it's being clicked off more than it's being watched. So that's basically what the autoplay option that, that can help you by turning it off. Now, if you turn it off, you don't like it, 
turn it back on. If you turn it off or you like it, comment down below. Let me know how it works for you guys. You know, I always try things out before I throw it to you guys. So I tried it for October. I've seen a difference. Now, November, as you can see, it's a little halfway. So let me see. Now, if it doesn't go up to October or above October, I may toggle it back on. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, your girl Sin is out.